My name is uh, Anton Mauricio. I'm an undersecretary of the DTI handling the National Development Company. Uh, and this topic is very well, um, uh, very well close to our hearts in the NDC, where our slogan is enabling the future. And how do we enable the future through technology and innovation? So Malaysia and the Philippines uh, have embraced this, uh, especially, well, Malaysia as a population is only a fraction of uh, the Philippines. And uh, our track to become a developed country was actually going to be realized had the COVID pandemic not set in. And uh, right now, uh, it is not only the developed country status that we wanted to target. We wanted to target the catching up of the Philippines with its neighbors in terms of growth. Uh, you know, I trained in Malaysia for a couple of months when I was head of a credit ratings agency. So I was in Kuala Lumpur under, uh, at the time it was, still, it was still existing Malaysian's ratings corporation or MARC and eventually it was uh, it was uh, acquired by the, the bigger ratings agency, RAM, ratings agency in Malaysia. And uh, yeah, as a ratings uh, agency head, I looked at risk and the, the different kinds of risks, you know, basically credit risk. And when you, when, when, when you see from the point of view of a, of a risk manager, you always have to take a few steps back to look at the perspective. I'm not a technical guy, I'm not an engineer, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not an accountant, but in my uh, three decades of uh, professional experience, I've managed to learn to take a few steps back and look at the, at the bigger perspective. And the bigger perspective is this, for the Philippines as, the, the, as a developing nation, uh, to catch up with its faster growing neighbors. We have to leverage on our strengths. And our biggest strength is our people. Not only the number of people, which is inside the Philippines and the largest workforce of any country outside uh, abroad, overseas uh, Filipino workers. Not only that, but our inherent traits that define us, our hospitality, our warmth, our active uh, energy that uh, non-Filipinos immediately feel upon, uh, when, they're, when they arrive in the Philippines for the first time. So how do we catch up, we leverage on the strengths of our Filipino personality, our number, and we use that and combine it with technology and innovation to catch up. And when you say the Philippines, we're a country that punches above our way in the global in the global stage. But I have to tell you, since I uh, I have been exposed to Malaysia, they also punch above their way in the global stage. And uh, you know, I I love Singapore as much as the next guy. <laughs> but I actually prefer to stay in Malaysia <laughs> travel. So, palakpaka naman dyan. I don't know, nothing to do with Singapore. Maybe they're too business-like for some people, but uh, Malaysia, really, I like the warm and the combination. Of course, I am from Mindanao. I was born in Davao City. Uh, we have a significant uh, Muslim population. And so when I went to uh, Malaysia, it felt like coming to home, coming home to Mindanao as well. So yes, we need to catch up. We need technology and innovation to catch up. And we need models to emulate so that we don't have to reinvent the wheel. And I would have to say that Malaysia does have a lot of the elements of that, and a lot of those models that the Philippines can aspire for. When I went to Malaysia back in, uh, when was that? 2000. Yeah, 2000 I was there. And I wasn't really aware, you know, of 
of a lot of the things. And I don't know how it is now, but at the time, the Malaysians didn't know anything about the Philippines. They, 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 they didn't know, oh, Philippines, where's that? What are you? you know, et cetera. And us, being Filipinos, we don't really know much about Malaysians at the time. So I think that uh, that's, that's something that has changed and we, it should continue to change. Under this administration, the pres, uh, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s administration, the Philippines is friends to all and enemy, an enemy to none. And the closest friends, logically, would be those who are just near us, our neighbors. So we should be past friends and learn from each other. And I'm glad that uh, we are hosting this event at the embassy so that we can foster these friendly relations and talk about things for the development of our relationship between Malaysia and the Philippines and for the development of uh, both our countries. Thank you very much.